Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about what's in my cloth diaper bag. The bag. The bag is a skip hop diaper bag. Um, I bought it at the NEX, which is the Navy exchange, so I did get it a little bit cheaper than um, say if you got it from Babies R Us. I got it for around $55. Um, but yeah, it's available at Babies R Us. I've seen it at Target. It's a nice bag, it's waterproof, um, and it has plenty of pockets. But this video is not about the bag, it's about what's inside the bag. So, let's get to it. Since this is a cloth diaper bag, which is the same as a diaper bag, but we put cloth diapers in it. Um, I've got diapers in it, it's cloth diapers. So, the two diapers I have in here right now is a Grovia one, and this is in the Holland print. Love this diaper, it's one of my newest diapers. It's really cute. And I have just a grey smart bottom. I think... This is called tuna? No. Maybe that was spicy tuna. I really am not down with the names of smart bombs. I don't really... Um, the only reason I know this is whole one because I just got it. So um, that's why it's still fresh in my memory. But I'm not very good with the names of prints. Sorry guys. Um, so, when obviously when the baby pees or poops in these adorable diapers when we're out, I need somewhere to put them in my bag. Even though my bag is waterproof, I still don't want to get poo and pee inside my bag. So I have, in the bag right now, two different wet bags. Now these are the small wet bags for travel. This is an old style Grovia bag that um, a friend gave me. Um, I don't know if they still sell these ones, but these are the, it's a pull string one. I kind of don't like it because the pull string is kind of tough. But I'll just put the diaper inside and just fold it over, throw it back in. And that protects my diaper bag and keep the smells in. Um, well he's breastfed right now so there isn't too much smell, but it keeps it all enclosed in here until I'm ready to wash. Um, and the other wet bag I have is the Smart Bottoms. Um, this is the Beach Bums exclusive. I actually have um, a Smart Bottoms diaper in this print. It's the Aloha print. I believe it's called the Aloha print. Again, I'm not sure of the name, but it's obviously a Hawaii print because the store exclusive is here in Hawaii. But actually the Beach Bums Kailua has just stopped selling this uh, smart bottom so they are not no longer selling this print so um, I picked this up like two weeks ago because I knew they only had like four or five left and then they'll be gone and uh, I do love this print it's very cute moving on into the rest of the inside of the bag another essential baby wipes in this cute little huggies baby wipes container holder thing and I actually have Pampers wipes in here right now the Pampers Baby Fresh, I believe they're called, because they just smell great. And when you're out and he's spit up or he's pooped and you just want him smelling fresh again, you just make him smell fresh. So, love these little things that you can refill. They're nice and soft and not bulky in your bag and don't take up too much space. And you don't need that many wipes if you're just going out. But you do have to remember to keep restocking them, which is on top of. Going back into the diaper bag, we have. Sun bun. I love the sunscreen. This is more for me and not for my son, but I will put it on him in the actual emergency if I forgot to take his sunscreen, which isn't actually in here right now, it's in the car, um, which we don't really use that much either, we just try to keep him covered. But love this stuff. If you haven't tried sun bun, smells delicious, gives you great coverage, and I never get burnt, never get burnt with this. Um, to the point where I hardly ever get a tan. <laughs> When we go to the beach a lot, um, this bag goes with us to the beach, um, so we have to have beach essentials. On beach essentials, we have this cute little hat, which I'm not sure where this is from because, again, this was a shower gift that I got. But yeah, nice little sun hat, must. Next, we have a cute little onesie, and this one is from... Old Navy, this is zero to three months, which it probably wouldn't fit him right now. Um, it would go on him, but he'll probably be a little bit tight. Um, this is really need to change out which extra spare ones, uh, ones that I have in my bag. I really don't change him that much. He hasn't had like a crazy blowout with his cloth diapers. He hasn't peed for a diaper. Um, normally when we're going to the beach, I make sure I pack extra outfits. So this is just literally an emergency onesie. And it has cute little palm trees on it. I have a good dig deep now. What else do we have in here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have a bib just in case. Um, we don't really put bibs on him yet because he's breastfed, the milk doesn't spill. Um, 
He does spit up sometimes, but rarely. Um, I just have this now because he's just starting to drip a lot. He's starting to chew at his hands. So we got this cute little bib from Finn and Emma. Um, again, I'm not sure the print of this one. But this is like the only similar print they sell. This is the only kind of yellow and blue print they have. But yeah, this is from Finn and Emma. And we bought this at a local store in Hawaii called Hi Baby. Um, last but not least, for the middle section of the bag, we have a muslin blanket. This is a pretty big blanket, so I don't really need to open it up. But it has cute little pineapples with little hearts on it. And I saw this in my uh, Nordstrom in Honolulu and had to buy it. This is from Coco Moon and it's designed with Aloha in Hawaii. So I'm not sure if all Nordstrom's carry these, but the Nordstrom in Honolulu does, and you can buy it online um, if you search Coco Moon. Okay, so that's for the center of the bag. What's in the pocket? So we've got these two front pockets here, and I have a chapstick, must, um, a Victoria's Secret credit card, <laughs> just in case you wanna buy underwear on the go. Um, I have some, Honest, and this has got like all sorts of fluff because I got this from the um, the freebie box that you can sign up for, and they just send it to you in the mail if you pay the postage. So it had little samples in it, so it's got like glue stuck to it, so hair and sand stuck to it. But this is the um, Honest hand soap, non natural, non toxic, enriching, enriching lavender flavor, smell, scent, flavor. I'm not sure. But yeah, we definitely have this because we go to a lot of beaches and we have the nasty beach bathrooms if I want to wash my hands when I go to the bathroom. There's never any soap in their places. It's literally like a free-for-all. It's like a cave a hole in the wall with a toilet in it and some running water if you're lucky. <laughs> so soap is essential. And we have the mini Bath & Body Works Caribbean Escape Antibacterial Soap, which I'm sure everybody knows what that is. And we have a dime. So that's all that's in the front there. In the back part, we have, again, sand carries with me everywhere. Um, we have two extra snappies just in case I um, pack pre-folds, if that's all we have clean that day. Um, you only really need one snappy if you don't lose it, but um, I have a collection. <laughs> I have many colors. And we have a spare pair of socks, which also have sand all over them. And that's what's in my diaper bag. So I really do kind of travel light. I don't overload my diaper bag. I don't pack really non-essentials. I really think this is all essential. Um, I probably could put more in there, like more extra clothes <laughs> that might actually fit my son, but um, this would do the job in an emergency. But yeah, um, normally if we're going for a longer period of time, I will pack more than just two diapers. Um, I might pack some pre-folds and some covers. I'll definitely take covers if we're going to the beach and I use those as um, beach diapers, like swim diapers. Um, I use the Grovia shells for those. Um, so yeah, that's what's in my um, cloth diaper bag. Yeah, thanks guys.